Hey, Bobby. Hey, boss. What's going on? I just got my hair done because I got to go take this test. Oh, yeah? Are you anxious? Find out if I'm an expert or not. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so this test is actually pretty, pretty sweet. Have you heard anything about it? I mean, everybody's talking about this. You're right. You're right. But you better talk about it now. Okay, let's just talk about the, the mechanics a little bit. So initially, we came up with this list of the must-know EG findings. They're classified based upon the importance. So you can see that we have yeah. four different categories, right? And from the top to bottom, it's, it's just the most important at the top to the least important at the bottom. Yeah, I'm sad that sweat ended up so low on the list, but... So what we did, we picked the top ones from each category and we created a a test out of it. A little bit more about the test. We, we did a little survey to understand who the test takers were, and we had 30 multiple choice questions, and that's gonna become important in a little bit. They're divided across the four different categories, and we have screenshots um, of one epoch on a bipolar and average montage and five choices, right? Mm -hmm. These are the metrics for each question, and most importantly, they did discriminate pretty nicely uh, experts, so uh, uh, experts and, and fellows from trainees, from residents, and that's what we that's what we wanted really to have a competence tool that discriminated people that are learning from people that are already really good at reading EGs. But there was one problem: the test is is on SurveyMonkey. It's hard to use, so I wish we had a different platform where people could sign up and, and use it for educational purposes really easily. Maybe we need to go. Let's take the yellow brick road to see the wizard of computers. You're right. I know one who does epilepsy on the side. Man, Doyle, welcome, Doyle. Hello, welcome. guys. We built this platform uh, to to basically make this test really shine. You know. I'm here today with uh, with uh, uh, Kaylee. Welcome, Kaylee. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> and we're gonna show you guys what uh, what this platform is all about. Wonderful. Let's say Kaylee, you're the program director at a at a you know at a residency program, and you want to administer this exam uh, and collect the results from your residents. Right? So you know you might log in and you'll see this page. Um, so, uh, go ahead and click on the, the new button there. Okay. And then we can just add our residents, right? So, all right. For tags, um, yeah, you don't have to put anything in there. That's just to group, um, examinees go to exam. Yeah. We'll do that one. Sure. And then let's go ahead and assign an exam to the two of us. Uh, so check my name there too. And then, uh, go to edit. And then under exams, go ahead and click on new there. Sure, let's do a summative exam. We can name it at the bottom. Um, there can be a, a title, can be you know demo exam or pretest or something. What are what are the types of exams that we have up there? Yeah, that's a good question. So there's a so we call this the, the the summative exam is the one where you go through all 30 questions and you don't get any feedback from them. Um, so um, it's just to you know run through the exam and to get a score. Um, whereas the formative mode um, will allow the uh, the examinee to see live feedback uh, with every question, with every answer, um, in addition to their final score. Uh, and then there's a third mode that we'll talk about later. Are they the same questions? They are the same 30 questions, uh, but just the summative version is the one without feedback and the formative is the one with feedback. All right, so we can hit save there. All right. And you'll see on the right column, uh, both myself and, and Brandon have, have had uh, the exams assigned to us. So this is where, you know, now, now we're... Um, showing the what the examinee will see oh what was the other thing that that was what uh that one was um kaylee as the program director what the admin side of the oh, platform oh okay right? so you can administer some exams and then this is the side where um the uh the test taker will uh will access and they, the exam. they would have gotten an email they will have gotten an email yeah, okay okay my program director kaylee assigned me an exam what do i do now 
Agree. All right. By agree, by clicking agree, you agree to share your test score, whether it's good or not, with your program director. So oh, go ahead and click on agree. Sounds good. All right. And then you have the exam. So uh, you can you can click on the the EEG pictures to blow them up okay. um, if they're a little small. Okay. Right. Uh, and then you can decide what that is and yeah. vote on it. They're shown in two montages, just like the original. Gotcha. Oh, what is it? What do we think that is? Wickets. The wickets or a seizure? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Sure, wickets. Surgery. <laughs> wickets. All right. So th this will go through the exam, all 30 questions. Notice that there's no feedback to it because the mm -hmm. mode was set to no feedback. Um, so we can actually go back to, uh, to, to the program director's page. All right. And go ahead and, Kayla, go ahead and click on the results tab up at the top. And you should see if Fabio answered that question correctly. Oh, look at that. Okay. So the, wow. scores, are not, the scores are not displayed until Fabio completes the exam. But we can mouse over um, those, those dots over there to show that, hey, actually, there was... Uh, Fabio completed one question and got that one question right. And you can actually scroll all the way across to see which question that was. That was a normal variant question. Must right. have got that one right. Very good. Good job, Fabio. Good job, Fabio. <laughs> Big brother, you're pretty rough program director watching every question <laughs> in real time. There. I got to check your rush score. Yeah, how did he do? Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Man. Fabio, you need to. You can't we, rush. We need you need some EG is an art. No rushing. Need some formative experiences. What if I want Fabio to have feedback while he does these questions? Yeah, let's go ahead and go to edit. Okay. And click on new there. And then change that mode to formative uh, on, at the bottom there. Okay. So that will allow him to get some feedback. Okay. All okay, right. let me just do this test really quick. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it's giving feedback. Yeah. It's I feed didn't expect feedback. Okay, so I better read the question. <laughs> what finding is shown? Well, what could that be? I might need to phone a friend. Uh, it looks like it's that little box there. Could be an algorithm okay uh, okay let's see what's what's oh man all of that huh six-year-old okay well i mean it's probably that the full score will only show once it's completed uh mm -hmm. but you can get a sneak preview by by mousing over that the dot of the, to see you know where we are on that. Kaylee, can I pass my board? <laughs> you got to complete the test first. Ah. Um, so that's one way to use this platform. Um, you can assign multiple exams at the same time. You can assign an exam with or without feedback. Uh, and it's timed uh, or, so that uh, if you've assigned the exam on a particular day, uh, an examinee will have up to three days to complete that, um, unless it's the feedback version, in which case, there would be, uh, they would have any amount of time to get started with the exam and any, and, and, you know, any amount of time to, to, to finish it. So, so if I entered a start date here, they would have three days from the start that's date. Right. That's right. So the start date you can see is automatically populated with the current date. Um, so you can actually set this to administer the exam in the future. Um, okay. so if you put the start date to, you know, be, be next Monday. Um, actually, the platform will automatically email uh, the the examinee when when the exam is ready. You know? Yeah, that'll you save me time that later on. That's right. That's right. So that that makes it convenient for program directors, for example, uh, to schedule the exam um, before and after an EEG rotation if they have the uh, you know the resident grid, right? um, and then they'll be able to time the the. the you know the the version with feedback after getting the two uh, the two scores from without the from the uh, from running the exam without feedback. 
So then we can just quickly go over how um, we can use this to deliver a lecture series uh, and uh, or deliver a lecture. Uh, and uh, this is going to be similar. The only difference is that uh, the, the questions will be presented in a fixed order. And so this will allow a lecturer at a podium to go through the questions in the same order as uh, the audience does uh, on, their, on their own computers. Kaylee has a lecture coming up soon about EEG. She can do a pre and post test to see if the students learn, which I'm sure they will. There you go. There you go. All right. So, so Kaylee, if you're, uh, if you're lecturing, you, you would set a different mode. So let's go back into your, uh, your, your uh, admin screen. Okay. All right. And then uh, let's, um, why don't, why don't we uh, assign me to, um, you know, to have, to, to be the, the lecturee or to be the audience member. Um, okay. so we can change that to, to, to live instead of summative. Okay. Yeah. I like that they change colors, so you know. Yeah. That's there. Right. That's right. So now I'm gonna go in. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. So this is how I would, as the uh, as the audience member, I get to see the intro page. Click agree, like we did before. And now these are in the same order as if Kaylee logs in from the podium. Mm. Okay. Right. Um, so, for example, what finding is shown in the EG below? This is an adult patient. I think this is a nice example of a posterior dominant rhythm. So I'm going to click over here, and then it's going to tell me, "Please await feedback from the lecture before continuing." So let me let me hand it over to to Kaylee at the podium, and see so you, you're seeing the same question that I was seeing, uh, but then after you choose the correct answer. Uh, then it will um, it will show um, it will show the feedback for everybody okay. to see. So we'll verify we have the same example here. That's right. It's the same example. Very good. Very good. So now you see that feedback, though. Is that right? That's right. So then uh, at at the the audience will get to see that. And then we click through to the next question, and all the questions are synchronized with the lecturer. Oh, okay. So that way, the lecturer can walk through the exam, uh, you know, with the same questions in the same order uh, as the uh, the uh, the members of the audience. Nice. Gotcha. What, if, what if the lecturer picks the wrong answer? Uh, well, then it'll, it, this all, all otherwise looks like the the with feedback mode. Um, so if you pick the wrong answer, it'll just show up in red with, uh, you know, with the, with right. a little blurb that says that, oh, that wasn't the correct answer. And this is the reason why, you know, try another one, God. you know, uh, and that could be helpful in case, let's say an audience member says, well, you know, I think it's this, or I think it's this. And then maybe the audience comes to a consensus that this one here, uh, is a generalized seizure. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll say, oh, no, that's not correct. Yeah. Uh, you know, anybody want to take a second guess at this? And like, oh, okay, well, you know, I actually think these, this is a sleep spindle, right? I think it's a sleep spindle. And we click on that. It's like, oh, okay, good, good. It's a sleep spindle. Very good, very good. You know, and then, and then, uh, and then we move on. So that it's, uh, it's interactive for, for both the lecturer and the, uh, and the, the, and the audience. I'm, I'm, I'm almost sold, Doyle. Uh, this seems super helpful. Are there other programs that are using this already? So actually, we've we've already uh, yeah we've I, I'm glad you asked that we've uh, had a, a number of institutions express interest and we've already signed them up to the platform. Um, actually, we have a featured list of some of the our partner institutions right on the homepage. If we go to the homepage of Learned EEG Talk, we have our featured partners right over here. And this list is always growing. This list is not complete. We do have some institutions that did say let's. You know, don't include our name on this list, um, but it, but this list is growing. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Add us to the featured partners. What's in the future when we come back in 100 years? What will this look like? 
Oh, that's a good question. That's that's a very good question, Brandon. So, you know, we're we're planning to expand the platform so that, you know, the 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 current version just has screenshots and that's good for certain things, uh, but probably doesn't really mimic how we, you know, typically read EEG. When we typically read EEG, we're reading, you know, at least a 30 minute clip at a time. Uh, and, uh, you know, so the, the future of this platform will involve scrollable EEG, where we can change the montages, uh, we can, you know, we can change the filters, and we can actually look at an entire record, uh, and then, you know, put in an answer and, and, you know, be able to get some feedback on that. And I think that will be uh, the direction that this platform will be going in the future. What about people memorizing the test? Yeah, so future developments that will that's right, that's right. So yeah, yeah. So currently we have the the uh, 30 screenshots uh, of EEG. And I think that if somebody takes that test often enough or frequently enough, uh, they're going to probably remember those pictures. Uh, but uh, again, the the uh, the future of this platform will be, you know, full length EGs. I think that'll be a little bit more difficult to remember. Uh, and then on top of that, we'll have multiple examples uh, of each particular finding. So you know, maybe you're going to have one of ten routine EGs that highlight a a vertex wave instead of showing the same picture. You know, and so I think that's going to make it difficult for people to remember, but that's also going to be a much better learning experience. You know, Sounds revolutionary. People. That's right. Thank wow, you. the yes. future is bright. How do people get in touch with with you, and how do they sign up? Yeah, so um, they, if they if they want to sign up, they can go and uh, um, we can have folks uh, click on the contact us button over here, fill out this form, um, tell us uh, who you are, uh, what institution you're from, and then just uh, let us know you'd like to be a partner with us, and we'll get you set up. Uh, right now, this is free of charge, uh, and you know, as we add new features, you know, hopefully we can keep it that way. Yeah. Pretty fancy. Sweet. Thank you, Doyle. Thank you, Program Director.